Hello and welcome to my channel, Thrive with Lauren. Today we're going to be learning how to do Chaturanga Dandasana, which is a really great pose if you're moving through your flow or just moving through as a transition in between asanas. So let's get started. If you have two blocks handy, that will be really useful as we'll be learning a variation with blocks. Let's first come onto our hands and knees into tabletop position. So shoulders are over the wrists, hips are over the knees. You can cross the ankles, and then from here, we're gonna shift the shoulders past the wrist. So shift the shoulders past the wrist, draw a navel in, and then we're gonna to start to lower it with control. So bend the elbows, wrap them in, hold here. One, two, three, press up. Beautiful. Next variation, we're gonna try it with the blocks. So bring your blocks into a position where you can place your palms on top. So we're gonna move into plank, and then start to step one foot back, then the other, come to plank position. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out, and then move the shoulders past the wrists. From here, you're gonna bend the elbows, draw them in, hold here. One, two, three. Lower down, three, two, one. Beautiful. Come up, place the blocks towards the side, and then let's move into our last variation from plank. Ground through the palms, step back into plank position. Shoulders shift past the wrists. From here, you're gonna bend the elbows, draw them in, lower down with control. Hold here, thigh nice and tall. One, two, three. Lower down with control, three, two, one. Beautiful, start to come back up. So there you have it. I hope you like this video. So there are three ways to get into Chaturanga Dandasana. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more content.